four? I can do. Sam's here. Oh, okay. Please, uh, please rise for Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Second, and all that stuff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Roll call, sir. Sure, why not? <laughs> Council Member Irby. <laughs> Council Member Page. Here. Council Member Wassinger. Here. Council Member Romero. Here. Council Member Dolan. Here. Council Member Stanger. Council Member Quinn. Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. All right. Um, Move for approval of the journal of the meeting of November 13th, 2014. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have no bid openings this evening, so we will move to communications. Uh, Mr. Chair, for the um, record, Councilman Stanger has joined the meeting. All right. Mr. Chair, there are no tax compromises or zoning matters this evening, so we move to road and bridge matters under road and bridge matters, item number one, fifth district. Um, please hold. Item number two, fifth district. Actually, um, change it. Can I move that to a committee of the whole meeting? Is that what we want to do with that? Hold on the order of business or refer to the council as the committee of the whole? That would be great. Thank you. For, for one and two. Moving on to other communications, item number one, all districts. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number two, first district. Receive, file, and agreement be approved as recommended. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number three. Receive, file, and the county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation, and that will be the order. Item number four, sixth district. Receive, file, and refer to the Department of Highways and Traffic, to the Department of Planning, and to the County Councilor. So ordered. Item number five, six district. Receive, file, and the change of managing officer be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number six. <coughs> Receive, file, and the County Councilor be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. Same motion for item number seven, and that will be the order. Item number eight, fourth district. Same motion. So ordered. Item number nine, sixth district. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. And I have the same motion for item number 10. So ordered. Item number 11, seventh district. Receive file and county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number 12, first district. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. And that will be the order. Item number 13, 7th District. Same motion. So ordered. Give me the add on. Yes. Item number 1, 1st District. Receive and file, and that will be the order. Item number 2, 2nd District. Receive, file, and county council will be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number three, sixth district. Receive the file. <laughs> so ordered. Item number four. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Item number five, fifth district. Receive file and the license be approved as requested. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Item number six, fourth district. Receive file and the county council be directed to prepare the appropriate legislation. So ordered. Report of the county executive. Mr. Chairman, no report. Report of special committees. There's no, no sir. special committees tonight. We move to public forum. I mean, two speakers this evening, sir. Two speakers. If you could please. <laughs> 
Hold your comments to three minutes, please. First speaker this evening is Tony Grasso. <laughs> Good evening. My name is Tony Grasso III, and um, I'm part of a movement called the South County Brats. I guess my dad went to high school. Uh, I have an LLM in taxation. Mr. Zimmerman's television ad discussed fake farms. My family has owned and occupied our Melville home for about 100 years. We've been in the fake farm real estate business for over 50 years. Now, some of our fellow fake farmers have hosted sleepovers. <coughs> for example, the Queen of England and President Bush <coughs> won at their 200-acre fake farms in Afton and next to Bell Reef Country Club. I leased our 80-acre fake farm in Sunset Hills to the St. Louis County for a park. I also personally owned a fake farm, a couple of acres, on Telegraph Road in Oakville that I bought from John Barra and the McBride Company. The Bratz propose a top-to-bottom investigation of these fake farms and, and how, they're, how they're still existing since I brought this up 46 months ago. Secondly, and consistent with the Bratz agenda of what we call regime inversion, we propose, number one, county council positions convert to full-time jobs with two-year terms and a three-term limit. I grew up with a, our councilman was a, a full-time councilman, Mr. Bryan. The county, and we, uh, we propose that the county assessor job revert to an appointed position, because it's essentially an administrative job. The county councilor remain appointive, subject to two-year retention votes. The county executive elect win with a popular vote of 50%. And we propose that the county auditor fraud hotline just be scrapped. Lastly, with regard to community betterment and the situation in Ferguson, the Brats propose mentor programs for students, adults, and businesses. Now, years ago, I was in the uh, St. Louis City School Mentor Program, a great school program. I got involved with it through uh, Joan McGivney. Some of you may remember <coughs> when she was on the Planning Commission here. It was a very good program. These programs work if you got the right match, and it's a, one, it's a good one-on-one -on -one match. We stayed matched during grade school. Then my, my match got uh, transferred to, to Park. He got in the Parkway school system. Um, and we, we lost touch once he went into high school. I don't know what became but um, my match, my student, was That's killed in a confrontation with St. Louis City Police Department. He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. You know, I question if I had kept in better touch with him, if maybe there would have been a different result. But um, I think those those one-on-one -on -one programs work. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you. Next speaker is Yvette Townsend Sanders. My name is Yvette Townsend Sanders, as most of you probably already know. I want change in St. Louis County government. Uh, tonight, I want to talk about an experience I had at the review board, the police review board. I, I've already told you about how I was lied on by the police. I've always told you how it has terribly, terribly impacted my life. Um, I went to the review board because I was told this is where you go when the police has done something wrong. But when I walked in there, I pretty much, they didn't, they, there was a guy by the name of Tim Green. I told him what had happened. He kind of brushed me off. Really, they really didn't want me there. They kind of pushed me out. They didn't push me out, but I knew that they didn't want me there. I thought about it. I went back. I went back for a third time and a fourth time. So eventually, I filed a report about the police lying on me and about the police had given my keys to someone else. The response was, he was angry. Uh, I waited. There was one black guy there, 
And uh, he, he could see that I'd been there three or four times. Finally, he came out and he said, y your name? He said, you don't have a police uh, record. I said, no, I don't. And I told him what had happened to me. So he said, well, I don't think Mr. Green is even going to want to talk to you now. He was, Mr. Green seemed so angry that I was even there. Um, two women, two white women, and it wouldn't matter to me if they were black women because wrong is wrong and right is right read the police report that they would never give me in front of my face, and I said, can I have a copy of that? No, you can't have a copy of that. That's for us. The way that I got that police report was through a judge. Um, I told you about the police coming to my home and how I was afraid to live in my own home. I told you about all the lies. I really felt like the police were out to kill me, okay, for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I guess it's who you know. Uh, I think we're sitting on a keg of dynamite. I think if thing, you got a lot of angry kids out here. I'm 61 years old. I'm not 18, I'm not 19, okay? I know the injustices that have been done to me. There's no way I can have faith in our system because I went from one place to another place and it was a rude <clears throat> awakening. I do not wish to see Innocent people hurt, as innocent people have been hurt now because of what's going on. I don't want to see the same thing that happened in Kirkwood to happen here. I don't want to see more violence. I think that the time has come. You got a, a police officer in Chesterfield who's, who's, who's taking pictures of men in the bathroom. You got judges who are on drugs. I think the time has come when there has to be total, total transparency and total, total, total checks and balances because we need a better place to live and we need a better, a better St. Louis County. I would not be here if what had been done to me, I, I can't believe in what's going on. Something's got to change. Something's got to change. Congratulations. I hope that you will be a better St. Louis County Executor. I hope you will hear the problems. I hope all of you We'll try to do something different. Thank you. <clears throat> Introduction of bills. Bill number 266, introduced by Councilmember Dolan for Councilmember Irby, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to accept three grants totaling up to $425,016 from Missouri Division of Highway Safety, appropriating same for support of personnel and equipment for traffic law enforcement activities of the police department and authorizing the county executive to execute necessary documents. Bill number 267, introduced by Councilmember O'Mara, an ordinance providing for a boundary adjustment between the city of Florissant and St. Louis County and authorizing certain actions to be taken with regard to such adjustment. Bill number 268, introduced by Council Members Wassinger and Quinn, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute an amendment to a contract with the city of Chesterfield pertaining to transfer of a portion of Ladue Road and South Woods Mill Road to the city of Chesterfield. <coughs> Bill number 269, introduced by Council Member Quinn, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract and renewal with the West County EMS and Fire Protection District to allow purchase of fuel in the event of an emergency or fuel interruption. Bill number 270, introduced by Councilmember Dolan for Councilmember Irby, an ordinance amending Chapter 714, Title 7, St. Louis County Revised Ordinances 1974, as amended Commission on Human Relations by repealing and reenacting Section 714.010 pertaining to membership of the Human Relations Commission. Mr. Chair, that is all the bills. Okay. of bill. Bill number eight, introduced by Council Member O'Mara. Hold, please. Bill number 69, introduced by Council Member Irby. Mr. Chair, we have a substitute bill. Please read. Substitute bill number one for bill number 69, introduced by Council Members Quinn and O'Mara, an ordinance authorizing the county executive to execute a contract with Lou Fuse Soccer Club, Scott Gallagher Soccer Club, and the city of Chesterfield for infrastructure improvements at Chesterfield Valley and in Maryland Heights at Creve Four Park. Um, move for the adoption of substitute bill number one for bill number 69. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. <clears throat> Please read per, for perfection. Substitute bill number one for bill number 69, introduced by Council Members Quinn and O'Mara. I'd like to take it up, move for 
perfection of substitute bill number one for bill number 69. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 218 introduced by Council Member Irby. Uh, please hold bill number 218. Bill number 231 introduced by Council Member Dolan. Uh, please hold bill number 231. Bill number 241 introduced by Council Member Irby. Please hold bill number 241. Bill number 256 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move to perfect bill number 256. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill number 256 is perfect. Bill number 257 introduced by Council Member Irby. Mr. Chair, we have a substitute bill. Please read the substitute bill. Substitute bill number one for bill number 257 introduced by Council Member Dolan for Council Member, Council Member Irby and ordinance authorizing St. Louis County, Missouri to issue its taxable redevelopment project leasehold revenue bonds series 2014 in an aggregate principal amount not to exceed $42 million for the purpose of providing funds to pay the cost of acquiring and constructing a facility within the redevelopment area described in the amended Lambert Airport Eastern Perimeter Tax Increment Financing TIF Redevelopment Plan, approving the county's acquisition of certain property within the redevelopment area in connection with the construction of the facility, and authorizing the county executive to enter into certain agreements and to take such other action as may be required in connection with the issuance of the bonds. I move for adoption of substitute Bill number one for bill number 257. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motions adopted. Please read substitute bill for number, bill number one for bill number 257 for perfection. Substitute bill number one for bill number 257 introduced by Council Member Dolan for Council Member Irby. I move to perfect bill number 250, substitute bill one for Bill number 257. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Aye. Substitute Bill 1 for 257 is perfect. Bill number 258 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move to perfect Bill number 258. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill number 258 is perfect. Bill number 259 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move to perfect Bill number 259. <clears throat> Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill number 259 is perfected. Bill number 260 introduced by Council Member Irby. <coughs> Perfect <coughs> Bill number 260. Are we going to hold that one? Or? I need to hold that. Just hold it. All right. Well, let's, let's. Oh, no. Never mind. Never mind. I the wrong one there. I'm sorry, Mr. Chair. Is there a yeah, second? It's, it's, I move to perfect. It's Hazel's bill, but I yeah. Okay. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Bill number 261 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move to perfect bill number 261. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill number 261 is perfected. Bill number 262 introduced by Council Member Irby. Please hold Bill number 262. Bill number 263 introduced by Council Member Irby. I move to perfect Bill number 263. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Bill number 263 is perfected. Bill number 264 introduced by Council Member Irby, Page, Wassinger, O'Meara, Dolan, Stanger, and Quinn. I move to perfect bill number 264. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill number 264 is perfect. Bill number 265 introduced by Council Member Wassinger. I move to perfect bill number 265. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Bill number 265 is perfect. Final passage. Substitute bill number one for bill number 232 introduced by Council Member Wassinger. I move for final passage of substitute bill number one for bill number 232. Second. Roll call, please. 
Councilmember Irby. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Meara. Aye. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Stanger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. Mr. Chair, I substitute bill number one for bill number 232. There are six ayes and one absent. Substitute bill number one for substitute bill number, for bill, I mean, for bill number 232 is passed. Finally passed. <laughs> passed either way. <laughs> Uh, bill number 253, introduced by Council Members Dolan for O'Meara, Dolan, Dolan for Stanger, and Quinn. Please hold. <clears throat> bill number 254, introduced by Council Member Page. <clears throat> well, we can't do anything with the next, Good. The next two. Please hold 254 and 255 also, please. Mr. Chair, moving on to resolutions. We have one this evening. Resolution number one, introduced by Council Member Page. Resolution. Whereas during Paul Michael Feldman's involvement in scouting, he has completed the requirements for and been found worthy of the rank of Eagle Scout by an Eagle Scout Board of Review. And whereas Paul has demonstrated all of the qualities of leadership necessary for him to obtain the significant rank. And whereas Paul has admirably demonstrated his commitment to the community by organizing his fellow scouts and friends to construct a stone landscaping wall around the electronic sign at St. Ferdinand Catholic Church as his Eagle Project. And whereas when a young person has been so dedicated to a goal that he has achieved the highest honor scouting can give, it is appropriate that the people of St. Louis County take note. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the County Council of St. Louis County, Missouri, as follows, Section 1. The County Council, on behalf of all who admire the principles of the Boy Scouts, congratulates Paul Feldman and all of the members of the Boy Scout Troop 921 on the occasion of Paul's award as Eagle Scout. Move for, move for adoption, resolution number one. Second. Please call the roll. Councilmember Irby. Councilmember Page. Aye. Councilmember Wassinger. Aye. Councilmember O'Meara. Aye. Councilmember Dolan. Aye. Councilmember Steger. Aye. Councilmember Quinn. Aye. <coughs> Resolution number one, there are six <coughs> eyes and one in. Resolution number one is that. Chair, moving on to unfinished business. Item number one, fourth district. Hold, please. Item number two. So six, ordered. I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> item, item number two, six district. Uh, the license be approved as requested. Thank you. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Item number three, fifth district. All right. The complete streets interdepartmental advisory team report be accepted and plan specifications and detailed estimate of the cost be approved with regard to St. Louis County project number AR1436 Hanley Road project and the director of procurement be authorized to advertise for bids as requested and a copy of this report be sent to the interested parties. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item number 46 district. Uh, please hold the order of business. So ordered. Item number five, first, second, and fourth districts. Hold on the order of business and that will be the order. Item number six, second district. Hold on the order of business. Ordered. And Mr. Chair, moving on to new business, we have two prepared orders this evening. Move for the adoption of orders one and two. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We'll be adjourned. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Meetings called to order. Roll call, please. Councilmember Irby. Councilmember Page. Here. Councilmember Wassinger. Here. Councilmember O'Meara. Here. Councilmember Dolan. Here. Councilmember Stanger. Here. Councilmember Quinn. Here. Mr. Chair, we have a quorum. Okay. This is a meeting in accordance with Article 8, Section 8.030 of the St. Louis County Charter. The council is required to hold a public hearing to receive comments from all interested par persons who wish to speak on the recommended 2015 fiscal year budget for St. Louis County. At this time, we will call on those who have signed the speaker's list. Mr. Chair, no one has signed up to speak at the meeting. All righty then. That will conclude the public hearing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank each of you for coming. <laughs> or a motion to adjourn. Move adjourn. Move. Second. Second. All right.